Okay. Ready? Yep. Okay. Have you ever had a soy curl? I was going to do that part. No, we said I was going to do that. No, I said I was going to do that part. And no, then no. I was going to do the second paragraph and you were just going to do the middle. You, that's not fair. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay, now I can't because I have the giggles. No, you can't turn around. <laughs> uh, okay, go. Okay. Have you ever had soy curls or even heard of them? If not, stay tuned because we're going to make a really great pizza with them. I would have done that better. I don't think so. It's fine. So today... Uh, <clears throat> you have to introduce yourself first and it's not everybody, it's you. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> first time. Wow. <laughs> Lots of bloopers in this one. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm John. And I'm Katie, and welcome to Pizza with Plants. This is what happens when you have coffee with Baileys in the morning. <laughs> so today we are making a super fun uh, barbecue soy curl pizza. Uh, Katie and I have had soy curls for a long time, mm -hmm. uh, but this, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're making our own barbecue sauce from scratch, and then we're gonna be, so we'll be topping the pizza with that, and then we've got a menagerie, $5 word <laughs> of ingredients. We're going to be using the Samdea four cheese Italian uh, blend that they have. We're going to use some follow your heart blue cheese. We've got some red pepper and some green onion and red onion. And then we're going to be making some fried shallots to put it at the very end. So you have some crispy little crispy. So, yep. but the soy curls are going to be the star of the show. Yep. So if you have never had soy curls before, they look like this. Um, they're actually made here in Oregon by a company called Butler Foods in Hood River. You can, they're not in Hood River? Grand Ronde. Oh, I totally thought Grand they were Ronde. in Hood River. You're fired again. Oh, Jesus. Okay, they're in Grand Ronde here in Oregon. I got that right. And you can usually find them in small packages um, at Whole Foods or on Amazon. We buy them direct and actually buy them in a big, they come in a quite sizable box. They come in lots of different sizes, but yeah. we'll actually put a link down below yeah. to their to their website. You could buy it direct, which is been, is better for you and it's better for them. Yeah. So they are, it's a non-GMO extruded soybean. Um, again, they come in this dried format, so they have quite a long shelf life if you do buy them in bulk like we do. And we'll just rehydrate them. You can rehydrate them with just hot water, with broth, um, whatever flavor Flavor, they're kind of like tofu. They're going to take on the flavor that you impart with um, how you rehydrate them and how you cook them. So they are a perfect chicken replacement um, for our barbecue chicken pizza. We're going to so. smear it with this yummy barbecue sauce, but you can really use these in, with anything. Yep. I mean, fajitas, cheese, Philly cheesesteak sandwiches, lots of different bowls. I mean, yeah, anything. Super versatile. They're awesome. Super excited to make this. Yeah. So let's, let's make some pizza. That was my line. <laughs> so greedy. <laughs> hey, let's make some pizza. Our first step is to rehydrate our soy curls. We're going to pour boiling water to cover and then let them sit for about 10 minutes. Once they're fully rehydrated, we're going to drain them and press to get all the moisture out so they are ready to absorb our yummy barbecue sauce. While the soy curls are soaking, we're gonna go ahead and get all of our vegetables chopped up and we're gonna start with our red pepper. Then we're gonna move on and slice up our red onion, chop up our green onion, and then we're gonna slice up our shallot so that we can get those crispy and fried up. Now that the soy curls are ready and all the veggies are chopped, it's time to get our barbecue sauce going. First, get your pan heated up over a medium heat and once it's to temp, you're gonna add in your ketchup, then your apple cider and balsamic vinegar, then your molasses, Worcestershire and liquid smoke, and get that all stirred up to combine. Next, we're going to add our tomato paste, brown sugar, and all those yummy spices. Then we'll let it simmer for eight to 10 minutes on a low temperature. We're going to separate our sliced shallots so we have nice little tiny rings. Then we're gonna mix the shallots with the almond milk, add our mixing spices with the flour, 
and then coat them so they are ready to crisp up in a hot pan of oil. We use our handy thermometer to check the temperature of the oil to make sure it's ready to go at 350 degrees. Then we drop in our shallots and fry them until they are a nice, crispy, light brown, stirring occasionally. Then we'll scoop them out and let them dry and get ready to be our yummy pizza topping. While Katie is eating all those yummy, crispy shallots, I'm gonna start with the soy curls. I'm gonna start heating up some oil in a nice warm pan and then add in all of our soy curls. You want those to get heated up nice and crispy brown. And once that's happened, go ahead and add in your barbecue sauce, stir them to combine, and then let them get nice and caramelized. So we've got our dough stretched and ready to put on our peel. We're gonna give it a little wiggle to make sure we've got enough semolina down that it'll launch properly. Then we're gonna add our barbecue sauce as a base. You'll notice we love these squeezy bottles because they're a great way to drizzle sauces on the pizza as a base or a topper. We're gonna start with our day of four Italian cheese blend. Then add a little bit of our follow your heart blue cheese. This melts and is so good. Followed by our red onion, red pepper, and then the barbecue soy curls. Now it's ready to bake, and when it comes out, we'll finish it with green onion, more of that barbecue sauce, and hopefully there'll be a few crispy shallots left to add a little crunch to the top. Ready? Yeah. Okay. That's a nice looking shirt you have. Thank you. I like it. We just got these recently. We're kind of goobers, but... You're a goober. I am a goober. This is all you. It was my idea. But they're fun. They're fun. <clears throat> this looks amazing. Looks really, really good. This is... It's like double barbecue. It is. We finished it off with the crispy shallots that we fried and the green onion. You drizzled... More barbecue. More barbecue sauce on it because you always need more barbecue sauce in your yes, life. Barbecue base, barbecue soy curl, barbecue Ugh. drizzle. Okay, let's go. Okay, all, all right. right. Um, I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna do this one, it looks easier. Okay. Oh my God, look at that, it looks um, oh, so amazing. Good. Here we go. Mm. 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 That's a winner. That mm -hmm. is amazing. <laughs> Sorry. It's good. This is so, I mean, everything. The soy curls, the crunch from the crispy shallots on the top. And the fresh green onion is really, really good. Yes, I do you I taste the funkiness from the blue cheese? Yes, it's like very subtle, yeah. very subtle. I think I would have diced the bell pepper. Yeah, probably. Just so it's a little bit more widespread, yeah. but I'm a little easier to eat. This is really good. This, this is, is good. probably, we just keep getting better. Yeah. That's, I would say if you have not had soy curls, this would be an amazing introduction to them. Yes. Undercooked them a little bit, so they still... They kind of crisped up in the oven. Yeah. The link, the, as we shared earlier, there's a link down below for Butler Foods, so you mm -hmm. can go visit uh, visit their website. They sell all different kind of sizes. We buy, I think, like a 10-pound box. We already told them. Oh, did we tell them that? We okay. 
How's uh, Alzheimer's, apparently, for me? So, anyway, this is super yummy. Super, super yummy. Knocked it out of the park again. Nice. So, be all right. kind. Eat pizza with plants. See ya. And one more bite. <laughs>